Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today I want to talk about an often asked about subject, how to start up and program a D2 transmitter with CAN bus controlled cranes and equipment found on DR Pro and DMR Safe Control. This is one of a series of videos that will link together and show you the release, startup, search and assignment, and self-test for the handheld radios. We'll begin by talking about the receiver location. In our example, our receiver pre-exists and it's mounted in the hoist panel. This is typical in equipment up to 2010. After 2010, receivers were mounted in the bridge panel. In any event, the receiver, when it's powered, will flash its LED on the outer edge. There's other information on a receiver board that's on a decal that may become important for the release, basically a serial number. It might be a good idea to take a photograph of it with your cell phone and keep it and zoom it up on your cell phone screen to help read the number if needed. I want to begin by showing you the receiver board. The receiver board connects to the motherboard with a ribbon cable. When this is plugged in, the pendant must be disconnected. Also note that when I'm handling a receiver board, when I would put a new one in or take one out, I am wearing a grounding wrist strap. It is the one DMAG board that could be burned out by electrostatic discharge that I always take this precaution with. The important information is found on this decal. We want to make sure that the IDENT number for the part is 7733644. And the serial number below the barcode is important for accomplishing the release, which you'll hear about shortly as this video continues. I recommend taking a photograph of this board and this decal with your cell phone and carry it with you, zoom it up on your cell phone screen to help it be run. This is the normal state of a receiver under power. Notice the yellow LED. This means that the transmitter is turned off or that there's no transmitter assigned to the receiver at the present time, but power is getting to the receiver. The decal that is important on the transmitter is on the back. The IDENT number is the most important part of information to check. The common IDENT number, which is a part number for North America, is 773. 56344 and it's important because that is the 900 megahertz transmitter to sync with the 900 megahertz receiver in our market. Other parts of the world will have different IDENT numbers. To check you can look to make sure you also have a D2 suffix after the DRC10. Once you've confirmed your part numbers and turned power on the receiver, now we'll turn power on the transmitter. We'll press stop and get the startup process to begin. We hope that we see four question marks and the word stop on a new transmitter. To do a release, we must do a button sequence while holding stop. So we'll take and hold stop in and do lift, left, lift, and hold. After five seconds, we expect the screen to change, lift up on both buttons. It begins with a letter C and four dashes, expecting us to enter the last four digits of the crane serial number. DMAG would name receivers if they were programmed at the factory with the last four digits of the bridge serial number. There's an alternative method of using the receiver board serial number and its last five digits. We've made it easy here 
our system we're dealing with today has the crane serial number and the receiver board serial number printed out on this page. So we'll begin using the crane number and it will be 4211. So when I'm happy to use the C method, I'll simply press F1. And that selects the C and gives me access to the first digit, which we've identified needs to be a 4. Scrolling with the trolley keys will allow us to change the 0 to a 4. And then we lock each digit with F1. The second digit, we need a 2, locked with F1. Then a 1, locked with F1. And the last digit, also a 1, locked with an F1. And then I must press F1 a second time to lock all the digits. Then F2 to begin the release. A successful release will turn the yellow LED on the receiver to red and green and yellow quickly and you will get a quick beep of the warning horn on the hoist. So once we're sure the release took place with that visual and audible confirmation, I'll simply press lift one time to get out of that mode. We'll come back and show you how to release using the last five digits of the receiver serial number. So now we'll go back and do the release and we'll choose the serial number of the receiver board. I like to use that method. It seems to work faster in the field. So to go into release, press stop and do lift, left, lift, and hold. Wait for the screen to change and let up both buttons. And now we begin with the C, but we want to change it to the S. We do that with the trolley key and then lock the S in with F1. But now it gives us access to five digits, the last five of the receiver board serial number off its decal. In this case, we know the number to use is 20671. So we'll use the trolley key to change the zero in the first position to a two and lock it with F1. The second digit is a zero, so we'll lock the zero with F1. Third digit is a six. We'll lock it with F1. Fourth digit is a seven. We'll lock it with F1. The last digit is a one. We lock it with F1. Then we lock all the digits in with a second push of the F1. And then press F2 to begin the release. Once we have confirmation of the release by watching LEDs flash or hearing a beep of the horn on the hoist, press lift to come out of the release mode. We've shown you how to complete the release step using both methods, either the crane serial number method or the receiver board serial number method. Both of those numbers I take and I write with a black marker pen under the rubber cover for the batteries on the bottom of the transmitter so that in future other people can find an easy way to do the release. In our next video, we will show you the next step of doing a search to find the active receivers, including the ones that were released. A new receiver out of the box does not require the release step.